Hey everybody, I hope that you guys are having a marvelous Manifest Monday. I just wanted to come and talk to you guys really quick because you know I'm very transparent uh, with my life and let you guys know that I had a little woe is me moment the other day, yesterday to be exact, so I just wanted to kind of share that with you and how I was able to kind of pull myself out of that. First of all, though, let me... Let me ask the viewing audience, are y'all here for my little headband thing I got going on? Feeling real Queen of sheba -ish today, all royal and whatnot. Um, <laughs> thought I'd get a little cute for y'all. I was trying to find my lashes, but I couldn't find them. I was going to be really, really cute, but I guess I just got to go with um, my natural eyelashes today. But okay, so moving on. Um, got a little sidetrack. But anyway, like I was saying, I had a little woe is me moment the other day because I saw a commercial, um, I believe it was on Century, for the upcoming Black Girls Rock special that's coming um, on August 20th, I believe. And when I saw the commercial, it kind of made me sad because I remember that a few years ago, I think it was about three years ago so I was pregnant with uh, Trey Ivy. I remember sitting in my room, sitting on my bed, and saying to myself, when I'm 30, I'm going to be on Black Girls Rock. So, for you um, guys that don't know, I turned 30 last year. I actually 31 this year. And unless they are taping Black Girls Rock Live and I get a call in the next two weeks, I will not be on Black Girls Rock this year by the time I'm 30. And technically, even if I was on it um, this year, I still wouldn't have made it by the time I was 30 because I'll be 31 on August the 11th. For those of you that didn't catch that, again, my birthday is August 11th. Mark it on your calendar. But that's not here, not there. But the point was, I was feeling kind of sad because I'm like, wow, I didn't uh, make that 30 deadline that I told myself that I was I was gonna make. So then um, it's funny because this morning I was in the car and listening to the Breakfast Club and they were talking about Tiffany Haddish. She's one of the stars of the new movie uh, Girls Trip, which I'm gonna be honest, I have not seen yet. Do not stone me even though I kind of felt like I had seen it because I've seen so many stories on my timeline about it but I didn't get to see it this weekend because I was actually out camping with my mentee so if anything you shouldn't be stoning me you should be clapping for me for being out there camping in the wilderness uh with our young uh future queens but <laughs> I am definitely going to try to see it this weekend um if I get a chance but I was uh they were talking about her and how this was her breakout performance and I've seen you know so many stories of her recently in the uh in the media I know she did a funny um she did an interview on a late night talk show when she was talking about um a trip that she went on um on a swamp tour a Groupon deal with Will and Jada and then I um you know read an article on her today and this article is what really really kind of um stuck out to me because I'm always for the underdog. And I, I love the fact that, you know, she seemed to come out of nowhere. And in a movie where you have so many other bigger names, she's the breakout star. So I love to see stories like that. And it would seem like, you know, again, like she came out of nowhere. She's this overnight success. When all actuality, she's not. So um, I was reading, you know, this article on her in People Magazine. And it was saying how she came from being in foster care. She had a mother that dealt with mental illness and how it was actually a social worker that pushed her into this comedy calling because the social worker gave her the choice of going to the um, therapy or going to this comedy camp. And it was at this comedy camp that she kind of discovered this love that she had for, for comedy, for acting. However, it was still many years before she would get this, you know, breakout role. She's done other things in the past, but this is her breakout role. Um, and she's now 37. I think of everything in that story, that's what really probably stood out to me. The fact that she's 37 and she's just getting to this point in her career. I say that because, let's be honest, in the entertainment industry, especially as women, 
age is not looked at as a good thing. And I felt myself, even with yesterday, with having that what was me moment, and I'm like, I'm not where I want to be at 30, and I'm like doing what it is that I'm trying to do, you know, age is not on my side. Like, I'm officially in that four category. If you don't know what the four category is, it's whenever you, um, in something, a compliment with four. For example, she's pretty for a big girl. Or she's cute for a dark skinned girl or uh, she's hot for uh, somebody in her 40s you know or uh, she looks good for a grandmother like once you get into a certain age bracket you start getting into one of those four categories so I'm like here I am almost 31 years old and I haven't done everything that I wanted to do but if anything that Tiffany had a story her whole life has reminded me that everything works in God's timing God's timing is not our timing meaning everybody may not get you know graduate from college and go right into being what they want to be you know, everybody may not know what it is that they want to do or be successful by 25. And that's okay. That doesn't mean that life isn't over and that it isn't going to happen. If this is what you're supposed to be doing and God has his hand on your life, then you're going to get there. Whether you get there at 25 or 35. But it's going to happen. And not only is it going to happen, but it's going to be wonderful and bigger than we could have even imagined so I had to remind myself that whether you know or not I want black girls rock at 30 or 32 or it takes me to 35 that that's when it's meant to happen and even if it happens at 35 you know that's not gonna change the fact that I, I'm still gonna be a black girl and I believe that I'm still gonna rock at 35 <laughs> So it'll still be, it'll, that'll be the time that it was meant for me to be there. Um, and then not just, you know, with this age thing, but it also taught me to be, to be thankful for all the victories. Don't focus on what we don't have or what we haven't done. Sometimes you got to be thankful and thank God for the little victories that you've made along the way. Even with my own life, I look like, Hey, I haven't done everything that I want to do, but you know what? I launched my website this year. That's something that this time last year I didn't have. I got nonprofit status for the Lead Project. Didn't have that last year. I've been out um, making connections and networking events and met some awesome women who didn't even know I existed. I didn't know they existed last year. So you have to learn to be thankful even for the little things. Don't get so focused on what you haven't done or things that you still need to do. Be thankful for the little progress that you made. And eventually, you'll get there. So yeah, thank you, Tiffany Hash. I don't know if you ever see this. Maybe you won't, but I thank you from one fellow uh, black girl that rocks to another. Thank you for going out there and showing us other young, talented, 30-something beautiful black queens that it is possible to follow your dreams. Okay, that's it for today. Alright, till later. Bye, guys.